Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit more informal. I've decided that I'm not going to sit down at the camera. I thought that I would just do sort of like a little vlog introduction to what I'm going to film because it really doesn't need a sit down sort of discussion at the beginning. And today's video is going to be my makeup collection. So this video might be a little bit longer than some of my others. I really hope that you don't mind it being a longer style video. I'm going to go through my makeup collection and just show you some of my favourite bits, how I store them and then just a general sort of overview of my makeup makeup collection. So I'll get straight on with the video because I'm sure my makeup collection is what you would like to see more of and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let me know if you do like this longer style video and the more sort of chatty vlog style introduction as well. Here's my makeup collection. So this is an overview of what my makeup area looks like. As you can see it's really neat and organised. I've got everything in its little containers and in the brush pots and it's just sort of how I like to display my items. And it just looks really neat and all in its place. As you can see, I've got sort of my lipsticks in their holders, brushes in their containers there, and then everything's all in this acrylic storage, which I really like. I really like that you can see my products easily. I can see exactly what drawer all of the different bits and pieces in, and they are organised, which I will go through each drawer in a second. And then over here, I've just got my eyeshadow palettes, and then just a couple of random bits and pieces on top, which I'll go through in a little bit more detail. Now. So in this section here, I just have some of my Tanya Burr Matte Lip Creams. I keep them here just because I use them every day at the moment and I just like to have these on show so I can get to them easily and this section here is where I keep more of my high-end lip products so I've got some lip stains lip glosses lipsticks that sort of thing in this bit over here so I've just got some of my favorites from YSL these are the Rouge Volupt shine lipsticks these are absolutely gorgeous And then behind that I just have some of the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfectors. I've got a couple of shades of these so I'll just grab them out for you. I've got a nice pink one there, a lovely orange colour and then I've also got a brown shade there. There is another one somewhere I believe, just here. This is a really lovely baby pink shade. These are just really lovely and moisturising on the lips. I've got another little Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector. This was just a mini that I got in a Christmas set. And then a Clinique gloss just there. And then next to that I have my YSL lip stains, which are another product that I absolutely love. These are gorgeous. I've swatched these on my hands because I really love the shade range of these. These are just really lovely and moisturising and as you can see they provide just a really lovely sheer wash of colour on the lips. And then next to those I have a Dior Collagen Lip Maximizer Plumping Gloss. This is really lovely if you want nice thick plump lips. I have some Estee Lauder glosses. One of my favourite lip glosses which is the Hourglass Extreme Sheen in Origami. I really love the pink colour of this. I think it's it's beautiful on the lips. A Tanya Burr gloss in Picnic in the Park. And two Lancome lip stains. They look identical, but I promise you they're not. One is more of an orangey red, which is this one here, and then more of a blue toned red here. So just a really lovely classic red lip in these two options. These are extremely long wearing. So I really recommend having a try of these if you want a long lasting lip stain. A couple more Clarins glosses just here. More pink shades again, and in the gold packaging, which I absolutely love. And this is a new one in my collection. This is the Steeler Lip Glaze in Watermelon. And in this section here, it houses more of my Dior products. I've got an old Dior lipstick, and this is in the shade Reflect, which is a really lovely bright pink shade. A Dior Fluid Stick in the shade Kiss Me. This is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favourite products. I'll swatch this on the hand just because I absolutely love the shade of this. And then as I'm sure you can see, this is a really old Dior lip gloss. I keep this purely in my collection because it was my first ever high-end product that I got. It was a gift from an old friend for my 18th birthday, I believe. And I just treasure it because it was my first ever high-end product. And then I just have this Urban Decay lipstick in Obsessed. And then in the top row here, I just keep some more of the Clarins Instant Light Lip Balm Perfectors in all the various shades and some Clarins lip glosses as well. And then down in here, I've got a little drawer which houses some Clarins lipsticks and a Lancome lipstick, my MAC Clear Gloss, a Laura Mercier lipstick, just another Clarins lipstick. So moving on to the brush section now, I'm not going to go through every single brush individually because we would be here all day, but this is the section where I just keep more of my larger face brushes and then this one is more my eye brushes, fan brush, that sort of thing, mascara brush. I'll go through some of my favourites, just a quick overview. So we have this Real Techniques sculpting brush, I absolutely adore the style of this one. The fact that it's a copper gold shade is just beautiful, really good contour brush. I keep my everyday BH Cosmetics face brush just there, another Real Techniques bold metal 
Petals Collection Blusher Brush. Now this is my first ever brush that I purchased. It was my MAC foundation brush and I was so excited when I first got this. This was the introductory into me of collecting brushes and I will always keep this. Even though personally I find that it's not a fantastic brush, I just love the fact that it's my first ever brush that I had in my collection. This is another one of my favourite brushes. It's just a really lovely soft brush and a really great at applying contour. A Clarins blusher brush. So then this pot, as I say, holds more of my eye brushes. I've got a couple of bigger brushes just in the back there. Just a Clarins bronze a brush there. My fan brush which I got from Charles Fox in London which is in Covent Garden. Down in the back I just keep a Sephora makeup sponge. Got a couple of Real Techniques ones just in there. An e.l.f. stippling brush. More Clarins brushes. Another Real Techniques blusher brush. And then the majority of my eye brushes are from BH Cosmetics. Just really lovely fluffy brushes, domed shadow brushes. I've got my MAC brow brush which you can't really see as the writing has rubbed off now. It's so old. A MAC 224 brush, which is one of my favourites. Another favourite is the MAC 217. Absolutely adore this for shadow. My MAC liner brush, which is the 210. A Real Techniques Bold Metal Shadow Collection brush. That is an amazing dupe for the MAC 217. Some Bare Minerals brushes, and then that is basically the majority of my brushes. This brush here I don't actually use. It's a vintage Guerlain brush, which I found on eBay. And it has a pastel ombre head. I don't know if you can see the colours very well. You've got sort of baby blue at the bottom, purple, yellow, and then leading into the really gorgeous pink tip. I adore this brush. I just love the packaging. You can see where it's gone a little bit rusty on the bottom of there, where it's so old but I just absolutely love this, it's so beautiful and I just have it more as a display piece and then I just keep some of my favourite go-to foundations I've got the MAC Face and Body Foundation just there the NARS Sheer Glow which is one of the foundations that I use for everyday use and my Lancome Tient Idol Ultra I mix the two of these together currently and they are a really fantastic combination I keep my everyday bronzer, the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder just on top so that it's easy to reach and then over here are my palettes I don't really have a lot of palettes just purely because I don't really tend to wear a lot of eyeshadow I have have my main staples which I'll show you in a second. So the first palettes I have are the Urban Decay Naked 1 and 2 palette. So this is the Naked 1 palette. I've got the Naked 2 palette which again has some really gorgeous smoky eye shades and a palette that I'll go more towards again if I'm going on a night out or if I just want more of a special occasion makeup. The black shadow in this is amazingly pigmented for smoky eyes so a really great palette. Now this is the palette that I'll reach for more on a daily basis if I'm going to be wearing shadow and as you can see it has some really wearable shades. I tried to keep this palette more of an everyday palette for myself so I've just got some lighter shadows here. These two colours here are the shadows that I always use as my transition shadow and I'll either go in with coppering or something like cranberry just if I want a slightly more warm toned shadow. I have an old empty MAC palette. This, this is just a spare one in case I decide that I want to add any more MAC shadows to my collection. My Stila Snow Angel palette, I absolutely adore this. This was a gift from my brother for Christmas one year and I just absolutely love the shadows in this. All of these colours that are around the edges are meant to be blusher colours but I also use some of them for eyeshadows just because they're really pretty. My favourite in the palette is Stila Kitten, I just absolutely love it. It's a really gorgeous glowy eyeshadow colour. And then my ever trusty NYX Box of Shadows palette. This is really old, this was a gift from my mum but I just keep it purely because it has some really crazy fun colours in there and then also some more wearable neutral ones. So this is just a really great affordable alternative if you want a lot of colours and want some really great pigmented ones I just keep this purely because of that reason. So now moving on to the drawer section I'm just going to go through how I've organised my products I won't show you every single product individually because we will be here all day and yeah I'll just go through my favourite products that are in these drawers. So the first drawer is my foundation drawer which I absolutely love this is one of my favourite drawers. I'll try and get as much of it in shot as I possibly can So here I just have some of my favourite foundations this is the Clarins True Red Radiance Foundation, one of my all-time favourite products for a really lovely glowy dewy base. I've got a Clarins Everlasting Foundation, the YSL Touche Eclair Foundation. I've got this Dior Skin Eclat Foundation and this is just a really lovely glowy base. A MAC Studio Fix Fluid, MAC Pro Longwear which you can see has seen better days. The Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, really love this and it's actually what I'm wearing in this video today so if you like it that is the one that I'm wearing. Another NARS Sheer Glow, this is just in a darker shade, I believe this is in the shade Mont Blanc so just another NARS Sheer Glow foundation for when I've got slightly more of a tan. And then in the back I just have my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, 
a Vichy Derma Blend, two of the Clarins BB creams just in different shades, an Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation. This is a really great foundation if you have any acne scarring, pigmentation problems or anything that you want to cover over. This even covers over tattoos, so really great if you don't want a tattoo on show. I would really recommend picking up the Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation. I've got a Revlon Skin Lights Photo Ready Primer. And then my MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation just sits in there as well. The next drawer is more of my base products. I have my all-time favourite bronzer, which is the Chanel Soleil Tander Chanel. I'm sure that you would have seen this product on many people's YouTube channels. I've got a mini Benefit Professional, the NYX HD Concealer, some Clarins Instant Light Brush on Perfectors, my YSL Touche Clack, and this is in one of the limited edition packaging. I just really love the design of this one. A Benefit Concealer, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, just another Clarins stick one. And then I just keep my NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in this drawer as well. A Smashbox Primer. My Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. A number seven Colour Calming Correcting Primer. This is just a green primer. Oh, that just splattered everywhere. And this is just a green primer that counteracts any redness, which is something that I definitely have. I have this gorgeous MAC In Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I just love this. It's so, so beautiful. My Clarins Instant Concealer. Another MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This is in the shade Adored. A couple of samples of the MAC Prep and Prime. And then I've got my Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer just in the back there. And then in the back I just keep my Topshop Highlighter, a number 7 Face Powder, a Soap and Glory Glow All Out Highlighter, and then just a Rimmel Stay Matte just in the back there. This next drawer is one of my favourites. It contains all of my blushes and bronzers. And if you know me, you'll know that I absolutely love blushes. So this is my favourite drawer. So starting on this side, I have one of the Illamascua Cream Pigments. This is in Androgen. And then another cream blusher by Illamascua. This is in the shade Seduce. And this is one of my all-time favourite products in my entire makeup collection. It's a beautiful highlighter from Guerlain. It is so stunning. I'm sure that this video probably doesn't do it a lot of justice. Another Illamascua blusher, and this is a duo. And these are in the shades... Katie and Ambition, two of the more popular Illamascua shades in a duo compact. Another one of my favourite products, the Kevin Aquan Celestial Highlighter. As you can see, I've hit pan on this one. I refuse to go out and buy another one. One, because it's really expensive, and two, I'm going to use every single last bit of this product until it's run out, because I can't really afford to go and buy another one of these. I think these are about £40, but it is honestly one of the most amazing highlighters I've ever, ever purchased. I have this Dior Rosy Glow Blush, which is gorgeous. Another one that I don't use very often because I don't want to ruin the pattern on this. And this is meant to be shade adjusting to your skin tone. So apparently anyone who wears this blush, it will adapt to your skin tone. So it will be completely different on every single person's face. I have this Stila Convertible Colour. A Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick, which is in the shade Nectar, which is just a really lovely glowy highlighting blush sort of palette. This Laura Mercier Highlighter in Candlelight. I've got my Clarins bronzer just in this little pouch here. My NARS Laguna bronzer which is looking slightly dirty. And again, another product that I've hit pan on. This is a really lovely bronzer if you want more of a healthy glow. If you want to look like you've just come off of holiday then I really recommend trying out the Laguna bronzer. A Daniel Sanna watercolour blush. My Benny Tint. I've just got a Kiko cream blusher just there. A broken MAC highlighter which I refuse to throw away because it's one of my favourite shades. Another MAC blusher and this is in the shade Peachy Keen. A Clarins Cream Blusher, my Dior Cream Blusher, another MAC one, a Chanel Blusher which is actually broken, the lid snapped off, but I just love this product, it's a really lovely peachy sort of blush shade. An Elizabeth Arden Bronzer, which I just love the colour of the packaging of, that's one of the reasons why I've kept this in my collection. A Sleek Blusher, and then I've got a Bourgeois little pot just down in the back, and then two little Topshop Blusher Bronzer Duos, and a Cream Blush Duo. Moving on to my eye drawers now. Now this one just holds a few more of my palettes and more single shadow. So I'll just do a really quick run through of these ones because I'm sure that this video is going to be really, really long. I've got a couple of Laura Mercier eyeshadow palettes. This is one of my favourite shadow palettes because I've customised this. You can read about this one on my blog. I'll leave a link of that one down below. Another Laura Mercier palette. I have to be really careful with this one as it is slightly broken. This is my Bieber palette which I adore every single one of the shades of this. They are incredibly pigmented. I will actually do some swatches for you because the colours are beautiful. But unfortunately I took this to Barcelona with me and it cracked on the way home. A Kiko long lasting eyeshadow stick, my duo adhesive glue which is the most amazing lash glue ever, keeps lashes on all day, my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, 
got a little MAC cream pot here, which I love the shade of. This is just a really lovely bronzy gold shade. My MAC Black Track Fluid Liner. A couple of the Clarins eyeshadows. And then I just have a couple of the Barry M Dazzle Dusts roaming around in my drawer as well. An eyeshadow palette from Chanel. Gorgeous Girl N eyeshadow, just in its single form in the packaging there. Another one of my favourite eyeshadows, this is from MAC. It's just a really gorgeous, glowy, gold and sort of highlighty looking colour in there. My Creolin Glitter for Christmas time. A couple of the Maybelline Colour 24 Hour Tattoos. And then I've got this Lancome eyeshadow palette just in the back there. A few more Maybelline colour tattoos and then another one of my favourites is this gorgeous Lancome highlighter. This was from a Christmas collection a few years ago and I just love the shade of this. It's a really, really gorgeous pearlescent highlighter which I'm sure that you can see just there. An Illamascua pigment, a Lancome pigment, a Lancome single eyeshadow, my little Tanya Burke pigment that came with the Christmas collection, a Chanel cream shadow in the shade Emmerville which unfortunately this one has broken as well but this is one of the shades that you'll generally tend to see me wear every single day which is why I refuse to get rid of this one. A little Laura Mercier single shadow just down there and then I keep my Topshop Glow highlighter in here as well purely because I use this more for underneath my eyebrows so I keep it in with my eye products. This next drawer is moving on to some of my eye products. Some of the drawers on these are quite stiff, so if it looks like I'm struggling, I probably am. So in here, I just keep more of my everyday mascaras. Some of my favourites are the YSL Baby Doll Mascara, two Lancome mascaras. This is the Lancome Drama Mascara and the Hypnose Doe Eyes. I adore the formula of these, but unfortunately, for some reason, they give me really dry skin on my eyelids, so I can't really use those ones very often. Another one of my favourite mascaras is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. This is a really great one for thick lashes, a Clarins waterproof mascara, the Clinique lash power mascara, this is one for really lovely naturally defined lashes, my L'Oreal telescopic extra black, a false lash telescopic from L'Oreal, the benefits there real mascara, I've got a Lancome primer, the NYX more to love mascara and then I just have a brow set from number seven, a Clarins double fix mascara which is just a waterproof coat to make any mascara waterproof. In this section I just have a couple of miniatures, I've got my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, I have two of these because I absolutely adore the product, and then just a few samples, so I've got my Estee Lauder Mascara, a couple samples of a Chanel Mascara, and then I just have my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper down in there as well, L'Oreal Super Liner, a couple of the Ico Skinny Liquid Liners, I've got a blue one and a black one just there brow pencil sharpener, another little liner from MAC, this is the shade and dip down, a mini benefit guinea brow, a mini benefit brow set ready, and then just a couple more brow pencils, I've got my NYX micro brow pencil which you would have seen recently, a Revlon eyeliner, and then just my Clarins pencil which has seen slightly better days, it's looking more worn down now. I have these Riri for MAC lashes which I love, I've only worn them once purely because they are incredibly dramatic but I picked these up from the collection just because I love Rihanna and love MAC so I decided that I would pick these up to add to my little stash. And then in the back I just keep a little bit of overflow from my blusher and bronzer drawer, this is just a sleek highlighter. I've got a few of the sleek blusher palettes. The sleek palettes are some of my favourites, they're incredibly pigmented, this one is absolutely stunning. And this shade here is a really great dupe for the NARS Orgasm blusher. And then this one is just more of a contouring and highlighting kit. A little Clarins blusher, and then I have just a few Topshop cream blushes in the back. Another broken matte product, so I won't bother showing you that. And then moving on to my second favourite drawer, this houses all of my lip products, which I'm sure you can see all of the front houses some of my MAC lipsticks. So as you can see, I've got quite a few MAC lipsticks in here. I'm not going to go into every single one of the shades of these because I do plan on doing a MAC lipstick collection, although I will show you some of my favourites. So I've got the MAC Riri Woo lipstick, MAC Candy Yum Yum, which is again one of my all-time favourite lipsticks, which is a really lovely neon pink. I've got a couple of the Butter London lippy glosses. These are slightly more sort of Christmassy shades. A couple of the Tanya Burr lip glosses underneath there as well. Some Clinique Chubby Sticks. I've got this really gorgeous pink shade from Sephora. Another Clinique Chubby Stick. This is in Heftiest Hibiscus, a really lovely red pinky shade. I've got a couple of the MAC Dazzle Glosses, more Clinique Chubby Sticks. And in this section here, I keep some of my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, a Butter Gloss, and then there's some other shades of the Soft Matte Lip Creams under there as well. And then in the back section here, I just keep more of my lip glosses and lip balms. I've got the Clarins Hydro Quench Lip Balm, which is incredible. Rodeo Glam Balm Lip Balm, which is incredible if you have really, really dry, sensitive lips. 
I've got a couple of the Lancome Juicy Tubes just in the back there. Some Revlon Butter Glosses. And then just some more of the Butter Glosses underneath there as well. I've got a Neil's Yard Remedy Gloss. A Philosophy Vanilla Birthday Cake Gloss. A really old YSL Super Gloss. And then just in the back, I keep some of these Sleek Pout Paints. These are incredible. Really good dupes for the, I think it's the OCC Lip Tars. Really, really good dupes for those. And there's just a few more shades just down in the back there my Burt's Bees lip balm and then I just have a couple of the MAC lipsticks that I've depotted into easier containers purely because I wanted to back to MAC them some sleek pout polishes I've got a few shades of these these are really lovely lip conditioners really great for moisturizing lips but if you want a little bit of color these are gorgeous a Benefit Coralista lip gloss, a Hawaiian Tropics lip gloss I have this purely if I go on holiday because it has SPF 25 in it and then I've got two of the Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvet lip stains in there as well. And the last few products, I've got a little mini Urban Decay lip gloss and my Everyday Burt's Bees lip balm. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching my really long, chatty, rambly makeup collection video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really means the world to me that you guys have decided to subscribe to my channel already. And if you haven't, then why not? I will see you all again in my next one. Bye guys. That's the Banoffee Pie half and half done. So as you can see, this will be my half without the bananas on top and this will be Sam's. And then just taking my cream, I'm just gonna pop that all on top.